Next thing is the Karma Soap. Initially, I didn't like the smell last year, but I grew into it as soon as I started using it in the shower. And I, I'm not like it's my favorite soap ever, but I do love it a lot. And so I'm happy I got this. And I like this shake better than that tiny little, but whatever. Whatever. The next is the Glorious Mud um, Body Mask. It's basically, you know, mud. You wet it, you rub it all over yourself, and you leave it on for a bit, and then you wash it off in the shower. The next thing is the Ultra Bomb all-purpose balm. It's basically Vaseline minus petroleum and it only has three ingredients um, which are natural and good for you and all that. I'm not a huge fan but you know whatever. I was gonna say it's free but that's not true. I paid two hundred dollars. Okay the next thing um, I got a tin and inside is the Buffy body butter which is um, a body butter for those of you who don't know but you probably do if you're watching this video is a um, solid like chunk of butter, <laughs> not butter that you eat, but you rub it on you, and Buffy is specifically, or more targeted towards your bum, uh, to help you get rid of cellulite, and also have a nice, nice, smooth bum, you know what I'm saying? The next thing is um, a massage bar tin with the Wiki Magic Muscles inside. Wiki Magic Muscles has cinnamon and clove and a dookie beans, so it's really good for stimulation and for your muscles. I probably just look really crazy right there. Um, I don't know if you can see the adukey beans, but they do fall out as you use them. You don't do anything, you just let them fall out. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like a massage in a massage bar. So nice. Um, I like the smell. The next thing is a shampoo bar tin, and inside is Karma Comba, which smells like karma. It's good for detangling hair because of a certain oil that is used in the shampoo. And for those of you who don't know how to use a solid shampoo, um, you basically have wet hair. You take the bar, you run it a few times, depending on your hair length and your desire of lather, and you just put it down and just lather away, you know, and rinse it out, and it's super good. Um, the next thing is the Comforter Bubble Bar. It's probably my favorite bubble bar. Bubber bar. It's my favorite bubber bar of our time. And um, it smells very good. The bubbles are like massive compared to like most bubble bars in general. It's probably not as moisturizing, but I don't really care. And the color is gorgeous. The next thing is the Fizz Banger um, bath bomb. It's supposed to smell like apples and cinnamon. Um, I guess it does. It's a multicolored or like a two toned, whatever. The outside's yellow, the inside's um, blue. So when it's all done and fizzed away, um, the water's like a nice green, so I really like this. Um, the next one is um, M -M -M, is Avil Bath. Um, I had a bad reaction. No one else has. I think it was just like the bathtub like had leftover chemicals or something. That's why I like broke out. I had a month long like bumpy rash. Nothing was red. It was just itchy as hell. And so I kind of have a slight psychological fear of avo bath so i'm giving it to my mom because i don't think she'll react badly because the bathtub is not full of chemicals the next is sex bomb which i've never ever ever tried but it smells i don't know if anyone's ever noticed this it smells exactly or really close to sakura bath bomb scenic shampoo bar and i love this <laughs> I, I mean i haven't tried it yet but just based on the smell and the last thing in that gift is the Floating Island um, Bath Melt, which, I don't know, it's a bath melt, so basically it's kind of a solid bar of like oils that you put in your bath, you don't have to put the whole thing, um, and it's, yeah, it makes your water more soft and like it moisturizes you because you're literally bathing in water and oil, uh, which sounds gross, but it's, it's really not. Uh, so that's the Lush Legends gift. I'm going to check if it's still recording. And I'm going to be talking to nothing. I think it's the last time I recorded, it went up to 23. So hopefully we're good. We can do this. Okay. In the um, All I Want for Christmas, look what I found. Ah! I think it's kind of cool. It's not an instant winner. I didn't win anything. So I'm just entered to into the, you know, draw to win like a $500 gift card. But, um... I mean, I'm going to frame, well, I'm not going to frame it, I'm going to hang it on my wall. I'm going to stick it on and be like, look what I got. Because some people buy like 50 million gifts and they don't even get one, you know, golden ticket. So I think, it, whatever, I'll shut up. Okay, I'm not going to go in order of like layers, but I'll just go in order of how things are strewn out. Um, this is the Abominable Bath Bomb. Um, 
I guess it's supposed to smell minty and there's something inside. So I don't really know. I haven't tried any of the holiday products that are new. I mean, I've tried ones that were there last year. This is the Rocketeer bath bomb. Someone said it smelled like Smarties when it's in the bathtub, um, but we'll see how that goes. I don't think this looks like a rocket. To me, it looks like a dragon's foot or like a monster's foot. You know, like these are the, the toenails. Like the f Maybe I'm just weird. Maybe I just have an imagination, but I don't see a rocket at all. Uh, the next thing is like pretty much my favorite, or one of my favorite bath bombs. Um, I wish I got more of, but I mean, there was nothing when I went there. There was nothing. So only those two big gifts, and I guess no one wanted to spend $200, and luckily I had $200. This is the So White. It smells like fresh, crisp apples, but it's like really perfumey in a nice way, and it's one of the few bath bombs I find that actually um, the scent stays on your skin after you're out of the bath. This is the Cinders. It's supposed to, it's cinnamony, but it's not really strong. It's like a sweet cinnamon smell, and it has uh, Pop Rocks, popping candy, so when you put it in your bath, um, after a while, you hear like, or, I, can't, I can't, I'm not a Pop Rock. I can't do it. The next thing is the Jilted, the Jilted Elf Shower Jelly. A shower jelly is a shower gel except solid and it feels like jelly and you just break off a piece, rub it in your loofah, you can wash your hair with it, you can freeze it and have an invigorating shower, which I would never do because, anyway, it's it's really green, um, it has glitter in it. I'm not a fan of the smell, it smells like grass shower gel and something sweet um, and apple-y, but it's, it's, I don't know, someone might say it smells like some kind of cocktail. I don't drink, so I don't know. This is Little Lush Pud. It's supposed to smell like a Christmas pudding. I don't know what the hell that is. Maybe because, you know, I'm not British or because I'm not American, but I don't know what a Christmas pudding even is. To me, it smells like marzipan, so it smells like snow cake soap, um, the melting snowman, which I will show you, and maybe smitten hand cream, which I've never actually smelled, but apparently it smells like marzipan. Um, the next thing is, well, I'll go with bubble bars. I mean, Wow, bath bombs. This is Satsumo Santa. Apparently it has like Satsuma oranges in it, which I have no idea what it is. But I tried this last year and I'm like, I want more. I, well, at least I have one. I can cut this guy in half, even though it's kind of sad. To cut Santa in half. This is Golden Wonder. So many people are saying amazing things about this bath bomb. Uh, the smell's okay. It doesn't smell bad. It just doesn't smell amazing. It smells just like, uh, Count Spike. Smells a bit like Charity Pot, just a lot lighter, and there is something inside, which is kind of cute. It's a present with a present inside. Oh, oh, oh so witty. Okay, um, Bubble Bars. This is the Candy Mountain. It smells exactly like Candy Cane um, Bubble Bar from last year. 